Hello, my name is Dr. Brady LeVere, and I'm a developmental education instructor at Acadiana Technical College, Acadian campus in Crowley, Louisiana. The purpose of this video is to assist you in configuring your personal computer to run Play-Doh web learning software uh, on your home or personal PC or laptop. Um, there are a few steps that you have to follow and I want to go ahead and uh, walk you through these steps in this video. First step is to get into the internet. Uh, Plato Web Learning Network or as I'll be referring to it as, as PWLN from now on works best with Windows Explorer. So if you use any other uh, browser than IE uh, then you should uh, you know consider using Internet Explorer uh, for it to work best and so once you're in your browser go up to the address bar and then type in www.platoweb zero one one word dot com and then hit your green arrow first thing you should see is Plato Web Learning Network there in red at the top of the page as you see there but you'll be asked to enter an account number since maybe other students from other regions will uh, be looking at this video check with your instructor to find out what seven number number that you need to put in here and so for my region it's 40117 yours may be something different but uh, for everybody in the Acadiana region it's 40117 check with your instructor and they will tell you what you need uh, to put there and then click submit all you'll have to do that is one time uh, and your browser will remember the account number this is what the um, home screen looks like your login page you're going to be need needing to supply th three bits of information and this can vary from school to school on how your developmental education instructor wants you to uh, log in but you'll have a Plato name and a group name the group name will vary uh, depending upon the uh, developmental ed or allied health course that you're taking but you would type it here and obviously your instructor will provide you with a password so that's how to log in but before you even do that we need to load some software on your computer so that uh, Plato can can run and you find that information right here in this help box the second link is the one that we're going to focus on right here so click on it and you're going to be taken to a page that will help you to download all of the uh, PWLN uh, courseware plugins that you're going to need to run your software first thing you're going to need Adobe Reader you click on the link and you'll be taken to the Adobe website personally I don't want the Google toolbar and so I uncheck the box and commence the download and I certainly want to run the software so click run that little uh, warning was just um, some security uh, level that I uh, had to um, 
agree to and so you'll see the download taking place but Adobe uh, reader is needed to view some of the um, extra information that uh, Plato has for you and some of your coursework uh, in what is called a PDF file. Uh, you will not be able to change anything but Adobe Reader is designed to do just that, let you read uh, the information that's available to you and also print it out if uh, you so choose. Adobe is now going through the in installation process. Right now I'm about 76, almost 77 percent uh, through the process. Looks like we're just about there. Normally, many PCs and laptops that uh, you buy today already have this software uh, preloaded on them. But those of you that may be using um, later model PCs, uh, this is a, a definite uh, step that, that that you need to follow. So we are finished with that particular plug in so we'll finish that and we get the installation successful message so I've got the most up-to-date version of Adobe Reader on my PC now next section for Macintosh users I've only had one student in the last seven years that I've taught uh, developmental ed that had a Macintosh uh, I'll be quite honest, I had a very difficult time helping the young uh, student uh, configure his Macintosh. But uh, all you have to do is to go to the links here and download these uh, software packages. Once you do that, uh, as you're going to see when I use the PC uh, method, it's very very simple shouldn't take you very very long to get it done so for the vast majority of us who use PCs all you've got to do is to come out here to the first link and download this first plugin this first plugin is a Play-Doh plugin that basically runs the software and so you click one run here very small uh, software package doesn't take very long to get it done but this uh, PWLN ion installation file is going to help you navigate through uh, the PWLN network Like I said, it didn't take very long. Now it, it, it's installed so I can log in to PWLN and be able to really do whatever I'd want to do uh, to navigate to my coursework. Next thing I need is Macromedia Shockwave. You're basically going back to the Adobe uh, website click the button to agree and, and install now click install we can kind of gauge our progress there by the uh, bar there since I already have it installed uh, we may be getting a, a 
running through this a little bit quicker. I do not want the free Google toolbar, so I unclick the box, click Next. One of the reasons I unclick those toolbars is that, uh, as I'm going to show you later on, um, once we get configured and are ready to um, uh, start using PWLN, we need to turn off what is called a pop-up blocker. These toolbars have their own built-in uh, pop-up blockers and can really complicate uh, the process of using PWLN. So as you see, installation is complete and now I'm ready to exit out of that particular um, plug-in. Play-Doh Extra plug-in are some extra plug-ins uh, that are specific to pretty much your Allied Health courses. Since there are a lot of um, rich media uh, content there, videos, uh, animations, things like that. Uh, you really need this extra plug-in to be able to uh, take advantage and view all of that rich medium there. This is also a, a fairly small um, plug-in, so it shouldn't take you very long to uh, to download this one. But this is some some extra shockwave um, capability that you're giving yourself right here. I don't know if you can see it right here that it's still loading. Uh, my uh, mouse pointer is um, blinking and so and I can also see my hard drive f uh, light flashing um, even though it shows that my um, installation is complete the done button was uh, grayed out now it's visible and so now I am complete so you just click that um, done button and just say go ahead and close the tab takes you right back to your plug-in menu. Next thing, go down to number 10 here. At one time we utilized a um, browser called Netscape. Netscape has been long gone for about a, a number of years and so just don't worry about any kind of Netscape plugins. You want to focus strictly on Internet Explorer. The next one is going to be Macromedia Authorware. If you're going to be, again be using um, any of the Allied Health uh, classes, you need the Authorware. And so we go on right back to the Adobe website and install it. Follow the same procedure and Macromedia. <laughs> doesn't take very long to uh, install. Close your tab and then finally your last one is your flash web player. Flash web player is used for, for all of the um, PWLN courseware whether it's um, Allied Health, whether it's um, Developmental Ed, there is a lot of very very good flash media for the math and reading uh, coursework there so you really need this one too. Unclick your Google, Google toolbar click download. Go through your security just go ahead and say run it get it done. One thing you'll find is that Adobe Flash Player usually updates quite uh, frequently whenever you start your computer. Doesn't take long to uh, get this one done. Click Finish. Close your tab. 
and now you're ready to log in to um, the PWLN coursework and so this will conclude the video on how to install your plugins I will be doing a second video to show you how to log in and navigate within your PWLN courseware.